it's a destination of facts. That's what fact truth means. I'd seen some of the youngest members of the clan holding placards, and I wondered how much of the message they actually understood. How old are you, Shirley? Seven. Seven. Do you know what the sign means? No. No. Shirley? She doesn't know what it means. Fags, troops, flags, symbols. They're all idols that this nation worships above God. Does that help you at all, or have I said a lot of words that were too big? Maybe she's just out here making up numbers, you know, because she doesn't really get it. Noah, do you know what fag troops are? Yeah. What? It's this nation of these fags. It's, it's the nation of fags. That's what fag troops mean. It is a nation of fags, that's right. Wait, wait, wait. You're not going to oh, let him get away with that, are you? I'm not going to. I mean, fag was... soldiers. Okay, fag soldiers. Right. I'm sort of glad that they don't understand it better. Well, you understand. Jo Noah, do you know what else you could be besides a fag to be in trouble with God and be included in that sign? If you're not just a fag, but what else? Swedish. A broad. Um, Swedish and, and um, soldiers and... But what are you? If you're not a practicing fag, what are you? If, what if you support fags? What does that make you? You're a dyke. <laughs> <laughs> you could say you're, what you're really doing is grooming him into the weird behavior that is characteristic of your group. I mean, if you want to explain your moral outlook to him, you could do that in a classroom. Underwear. Is it Noah? How are you doing? Do you remember me? From the BBC? Yeah. How old are you now? Eleven. Eleven. Has oh, anything changed since I last saw you? Same old, same old. I so. <laughs> lost a few members of the, of the church since I was here. Mm -hmm. More than a few. More than a few. Who did you lose? Kay, um, Kay Hockenbarger. Kay Hockenbarger. Catherine. Catherine Hockenbarger. Libby, um, Libby, Lauren. Yeah. There's How did, probably a few more. Were you, were you sorry to see them go? No. no. They're not going to be one of God's elect. They're, if they're not one of God's elect, well, they're going to leave this place. Okay, because, um, the Lord, this is Zion. Do you ever worry that, that you might go? Yes. Do you? Yes. yes. Why? Well, because you don't want to be kind of... My heart is always evil. I mean, it's generally evil. So... You, there's always a fight between the flesh and the spirit, and you're hoping that you won't leave, so... Well, it depends. If the Lord loves you, He'll give you grace. You feel you're being pulled in the wrong direction by your thoughts. What do you do? You get out of there. You stop thinking about that. You put that away. You put that away. What do you struggle with most? Uh, someone like talking and putting my thoughts in the captivity. That's, that's a big one. I talk way too much. And you, uh, Gabriel? Pride of the heart. Why? Because it lifts you up, and then... God will take you down. How are you doing? I'm good. Do you feel you understand the message a little bit better now? Yes. And do you understand that um, gay people, homosexuals, find the word fag offensive? I really don't care. It's a good way to put it. Gay actually means happy. And so it's way better than that. And you can put all those big words homosexual. They're just a bunch of filthy fags. I don't care if they find it offensive. It's wrong. The Bible says it's wrong. So you can just shut up about that. Did you just tell me to shut up? Okay, sorry, sorry. I'm just saying you can... <laughs> Okay, sorry. One of the things I've been learning since I was back is that um, we're actually quite close to the end of the whole process mm -hmm. of the world, mm -hmm. in a sense, and that Jesus yes. might be coming back. Do you know anything about that? Yes. Would you like to explain that? Which part? Uh, what, well, where, where are we at? Mm, we're at? We're the part with the beast. With the be He's already ascended, and there are things that are happening. And who is the beast? The beast? Well, Antichrist Obama, possibly. <laughs> um, there's a lot of... Th we see all these last things happening, and it says there's going to be a beast, and he's getting all sorts of popularity. He's fitting all the roles that it talks about, and it just, it's working perfectly. So we have all reason to believe he's the beast. And, and so what will happen next? Do you know? What do you expect? My Aunt Paulette, she had a dream, and she imagined us all in pink, all, all, of, us, all of our people in a pink cave, and, and far away from, our, from the place we are now. Nothing like it. And so, guess what? We looked up on the internet, and we were looking for things, Someone looked for that, and you know what we found? Somewhere in the Fertile Crescent in Jordan, which used to be Moab, there are pink caves that that are big, and they would 
that's just kind of, isn't that kind of cool? You could end up in a pink cave in Jordan. <laughs> I guess so. I'm just saying that that's what happened. Isn't that kind of cool, though? Yeah. I just want to tell you that. That's cool. 